but not in the best way. It would have been better if the sweetness was a bit toned down or if the oud was a bit, you know, if it, gets, if it could get the oud a bit more, then if the spices were also toned down, there would have been a sweeter perfume. It would have been an entirely different perfume. But it is what it is. So you either enjoy it or you don't. I back with another banging video <laughs> hi guys how are you doing today i hope you're doing well if this is your first time you see me hi please stay get me to 1000 subscribers i will be so happy <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i love you you already know so today we are reviewing a very very popular la chafa perfume i'm talking about none other than ragba You've heard it before. In fact, we've have we had ragba man, I think ragba intense or something, but if you don't know how ragba smells, this is your video. This is ragba. This is the packaging it comes in. Yeah, lovely box, a lot of embellishments. I'm here for it. I love it. Presentation is dope. Okay. <laughs> so this is ragba. In this particular box, this one came with a body spray. Okay, this is Ragba for men, body spray. But we are not here to talk about the body spray. We are here to talk about the original Ragba and how it smells. Mm. Okay. Ragba spray is very nice. So you cannot be disappointed with the atomizer. It is super, super dope. When you spray ragba, what you get is vanilla, a little bit of oud. The oud is not much in ragba. Vanilla, oud, spices, incenses. And a little bit of musk. So if you were to describe how this smells now, it is a smoky, rich, caramelly, spice, a little bit spicy, oudy sweet perfume. That's a lot of adjectives. <laughs> so when you spray it right off the top, okay, what you get is vanilla. What you get is vanilla. The sweetness basically vanilla and sugar. You cannot miss it. That is what you get. But as it develops on your skin, as it dries down, then that is when you begin to catch the incense. You get incenses here and you get spices in here. It is a little bit similar to the spices that you get in Kaid, also by Latafa. So you get the spices in there. You get incenses in there. You get the sweetness. You get something caramelly in here. Everything comes together to make it like a smoky, rich scent. It is sweet and woody, yeah? But the wood in here is not much at all. In fact, the wood in here is not as much as the wood in Sheikh Ashiyuk Lux Edition. So the wood in here is done very lightly. It's very lightly woody. It is woody, yeah? But it is very lightly woody. The major thing that you will get is that vanilla. Is that vanilla and sugar vanilla and sugar blend it with a little bit of food blend it with a little bit of spices blend it with a tiny little bit of musk then that is what you have it's a smoky rich to me it smells smoky smoky deep scent smoky rich scent it is not like a typical middle eastern perfume the reason is because the spices that i catch in here are not like the spices that you find everywhere this is why a lot of people like um ragba so much because it is not common it doesn't smell like anything that you've smelled before it is rich it is dark it is deep it's smoky it encompasses everything together to give you some sort of elegant scent elegant scent but it requires a mood to wear ragba i don't wear ragba all the time i like it but it requires a mood for me to wear it because sometimes it sort of weighs me down like when i wear it i feel a little bit heavy now don't confuse that for the fact that it lasts long on me, it doesn't last that long. It does not last that long, really. It lasts barely six hours on my skin. It's just like my skin sucks right back inside. So it doesn't last too long on my skin. And on clothes, it gives me maybe about 24 hours, like a day. You will get a day conveniently with ragba. But that's it. It doesn't last too long. It is not a beast mode, super long-lasting perfume. It doesn't last that much on me. And also the projection is not beast mode. The CH is not amazing. It's not this mode. It's not as if you wear ragba now 
and everybody in the room can smell you. No, I'm sorry, but that is not, this is not the kind of perfume. It doesn't project wildly. It stays on you, yeah, but it is not bismuth. This is not something that people can smell, can smell, can smell, does not project. The siage is not too much. It's not too much, but when you wear it, you know that you wear it. I get the sugar, I get the vanilla, I get the caramel, I get the oud, but I get the spices very much. I get the sweetness. I get the incense. The spices and incenses are dominant in here, but not on the first spray. After it dries down a little bit is where you start to get the spices and the incenses. Okay? Someone said it smells like saliva. Honestly, it doesn't smell like such to me. It is not irritating at all. It must be the spices in here and the smokiness that's giving in that sort of deep, rich smell that some people confuse for saliva. It is deep. It is deep. It is rich. It is smoky. It is a little bit synthetic because you catch the alcohol even after the dry down. It smells some, uh, a little bit synthetic. But the spices in there and the incenses, incenses in there combined together is what sort of makes it off-putting to some people. It is not combined in the best way. I agree. It is not combined in the best way. But for this kind of scent, it is not common. It is not, it is not a scent that you smell every day in your house. It's not a scent that you can get everywhere. Not many people find this. So if you're looking for a scent that is unique, that is different, that doesn't have the typical Middle Eastern vibe, go for Ragba. Vanilla, oud, spicy, incense, smoky, blended together, but not in the best way. It would have been better if the sweetness was a bit toned down or if the oud was a bit, you know, if you get, if you could get the oud a bit more, then if the spices were also toned down, there would have been a sweeter perfume. It would have been an entirely different perfume. But it is what it is. So you either enjoy it or you don't. I specifically have a mood for wearing this because when I wear it, it feels like it weighs me down. So on different kind of days, I wear different kind of perfumes, but I don't reach for this every time. Because I don't want to be feeling weighed down every day. So it depends on my mood. I use it to layer. I can use this as my first layer. Then I layer some other sweet things, you know, or maybe oody sweet things on it. And it blends perfectly well. Blends perfectly well. So depends. Like I said, the longevity is not amazing. You get maybe about um, 24 hours on your clothes, maybe about 8 hours on your skin. That is what I get. Then the siage is not amazing. It's not so, you know, what do we call it? It is not beast mode. That is that about Ragba. I hope you enjoyed it because I know people watch thousands of videos on Ragba and I just, I hope you get what I mean with how I've explained it. I really, really, really do hope you get it. <laughs> so that concludes my video for today, sadly, because I miss you guys so much. But watch my videos, like my videos, subscribe to my channel for more. And until next time, ciao.